So I noticed I've got some aphid activity taking place in the garden. As many of you are aware, I'm sure, aphids can be quite detrimental to your food crops. It's important to nip it in the bud at first sign of activity, and it's easy enough to do organically using a horticultural oil such as neem oil. Neem oil is pressed from the seeds of the neem tree, and it does an excellent job taking care of the aphid problem. As an added benefit, the neem oil solves other issues around the garden as well. It controls black spot, powdery mildew, rust, spider mites, white flies. So whether it's aphids or one of those other issues, the process is still the same. But before you run out to your garden and begin spraying, I wanna offer you a piece of advice. This is really important, my friends. First things first, the best time to apply the spray is gonna be earlier in the morning or later in the evening or pretty much any time during the day if you've got overcast skies. You really wanna do your best to avoid applying the neem oil in the midday when the sun's out beating down on the plants. But even more important than that, you wanna make sure that none of the beneficial insects are out and about. Insects like bees, bumblebees, ladybugs, these are our gardening buddies and the neem oil will harm them as well. So it's really important when you go out to inspect the plant that you're getting ready to spray and make sure you don't have any of these beneficials hanging around. Oftentimes I'll see the bees buzzing around certain crops and not others so I can target just one specific plant at a time. So I'm gonna quickly apply a neem oil spray and take care of this issue right away. So one of the best tools to complete this job is to use a pump sprayer or an electric sprayer like what I have here. And we're just gonna add in a tablespoon or two per gallon of water. It really doesn't need to be exact. And I absolutely love having this electric sprayer to complete tasks like this. It makes quick work out of it. All you need to do is simply press this button here. And this pump will automatically activate, turning on and off as needed to keep the tank pressurized. Here's an example of some of those aphids on my brassica plants here. They tend to congregate at the tip of the flower heads. And really what they're doing is sucking the life force out of the plant. And here we've got some more aphids congregating on my fava bean plants. And as you can see, once again, they love to congregate on that new growth towards the tip of your plants. And if you see something that looks like this on your stone fruit trees, cherry trees, this is also caused by aphids. They're harder to see here because they're hiding in those curled up leaves. All right, so I'm gonna start over here on my brassicas. And after a quick inspection here, I don't see any beneficials. No bees, no ladybugs around, so we're good to go. So I'm just gonna go around and target mainly the tips of the plant. Even if I don't see aphid activity, I'm just gonna give the whole plant a quick spray down. And I'm constantly on the lookout to make sure, again, that there's no bees flying around and I don't see any ladybugs. It's looking good. And in about 20 seconds, we've completely treated this plant. It's gonna take care of the aphid problem and we're gonna be back in business. And I did notice a ladybug on these fava bean plants the other day. So I'm gonna take extra precaution and just look really closely, make sure there's no ladybugs hiding out here. They can really hide within the plant I'm not seeing any, and although I'd love to just let nature work this out and balance itself out, it's pretty obvious at this point that the ladybug's overwhelmed with the amount of aphids that are here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some spray. It's actually quite amazing how quickly these aphids can cause damage to your fruit trees. I know from experience, trust me. I actually had a two-in-one planting of fruit trees over here. And one year, I let it go too far before I did my treatment. And the tree did not survive. It was a combination of both drought-like conditions and the aphids. Either way, I learned my lesson. Never again am I going to put off 
treating my crops once I notice the aphids are out to play. And don't worry, you can't really overdo it with neem oil. One last important factor to consider is the weather. If you have a rain event coming in, you're gonna to wanna to avoid spraying until after that passes. Otherwise, it's gonna wash some of that oil off. Because it is oil, it will stick to the leaves quite well, even after a rain event. But still, you don't wanna waste product. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video, my friends. I hope you got something out of it or you found it entertaining in some way. If so, be sure to smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every week, sometimes every day. And I'm always giving you updates on all the different things growing on around here. So with that, have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.